I started at uh, 17 years old. I had my first used car dealership up in New Hampshire and it blossomed from there. I owned several of them in Florida and in New Hampshire. And it's just been, a, started out as a hobby, but I loved it and I went from there and got involved with race cars back then, either sponsoring or owning several race cars through the years. And back, actually in 1998, I moved to Boca Raton and had a place called Cars of the Rich and Famous, which we dealt in all classic cars. We were shipping them, exporting them overseas back then. Then the market crumbled like it did everywhere in 99. But uh, it's just been a hobby of mine my whole life. Uh, had a very good time doing it and now I enjoy driving a few of them. Not, not a bunch of them, but a few of them anyway. My first car, I was 15 years old and it was a 1960 Impala. Four door, hard top. Nice little V8 automatic, and uh, that was my first car. Second car was a 61 Ford convertible. I wish I had them both today. Lucky Young, and this car here is a 1955 Packard Clipper Super. We were on vacation three years ago in Myrtle Beach, and we were thinking of a car for my wife. She was born in 55, so we wanted something made in 1955. I had never seen a 55 packet in my life, but a friend of ours was on vacation with us, saw it on Craigslist, and he said, Lucky, look at this car, it's a 55. And he said, it's in Florida. I did not know where. Called a friend of mine who's an auto body specialist, and I said, look, we're out of town for a few more days. If I give you somebody's phone number, can you call and check on this car for us? And I told him it was a 55 Packard, didn't know what town it was in. Well, he calls me back less than an hour later, and he says, you need to buy it. I said, you've already seen the car? He said, lucky, it's five minutes behind my shop in a warehouse. I couldn't believe it. It was right in Winter Haven. And uh, that's where we live, but we were in South Carolina. So I got on, I asked him, I said, have you got any money on you? I said, because I don't want to lose it if it's as nice as you say. He said, yeah. So I talked with the owner on the phone. I said, my friend's going to give you a deposit if you'll take it, and we'll be back the first of the week to purchase the car. No problem. We got there, and it, like I said, it was five minutes behind his shop in a warehouse. The gentleman had bought it, and uh, he started doing a couple cosmetic things to it, but uh, I guess he wanted to sell it for another business venture or something, so uh, we bought it. And that was three years ago. Uh, I kept it for about a year and decided to have it completely restored. It was a frame-on restoration, but they went right through it completely. Uh, virtually a rust-free car to begin with. Once we finally got it done, my wife decided after she saw it, it was kind of big, too big for her to drive. So we've actually never, never driven the car since. Uh, it's got 50 miles on it since it was completely restored. And um, as you can see, it's a very, very nice car. It's 77,000 original miles, V8. It's all original sheet metal. We d did change the color. Uh, they did have the pink, black, white combination in 55. This one was originally red and white, but she wanted pink. And uh, so we painted it like an original 55 packet, but that is not uh, the original red and white. Um, the interior is 90% all original. The sheet metal is all original. Uh, the car is just unbelievable condition, really and it drives like you're sitting in your living room. You know, it, it goes that nice down the road. I would love to tell you we're gonna keep it and drive it, but unfortunately due to some health issues along the way, um, we've decided we're gonna sell it. Um, after spending a lot of money and time and everything, we're, we're gonna part with it. Uh, it's really too big for my wife to drive. And, uh, 
so I think we're going to put it up for sale.